This video shows a demonstration of the Smart Fusion Mix Signal Power Manager. This is using power management on the Smart Fusion Dev Kit connected to the NPM daughter card. First of all, we show a power up sequence by pressing switch one. You can see all four regulators power up. Then we do a power down sequence with switch five. So you can see that it's just a repeat or a um, reverse of the power up sequence that we did. So if I power those back up again, Look at the OLED display where it's showing channel A1. This is the first regulator voltage. So if I change the pot value, you can see that it reports different values on the OLED for undervolt 2, undervolt 1, nominal, overvolt, and overvolt 2. So these are flags that are generated as the voltage changes on that regulator. The other thing we can do is there is a enable disable switch, which actually interrupts that regulator. So this would show that that signal had gone off. So in power management, this would say that one of our power supplies has gone down. So that would raise a flag. The second thing we can do is actually the um, LEDs on the board represent different voltages. So again, if I change regulator one, you can see that it goes from overvolt one to nominal to undervolt one. The next OLED, the D1, actually will tell me when I have nominal voltage on all four channels. So let's do regulator one first. That's one. On the second channel, I'm going to go to nominal. Third channel goes to nominal. And as I bring the fourth channel into nominal, the D1 LED should come on. There it goes, right there. So it just demonstrates, um, for example, a power supply good um, light that could light up when all four channels are at the correct nominal voltage. So we can power those back down and then I'll show you in the software how we set up this demo. So this software is the Mixed Signal Power Manager um, graphical configurator. And in here you can um, configure up to 16 voltage rails, but in the demo that we already looked at on the board, we only used four. So I'm going to just talk about the first four voltage rails that we have here. So the first one is 3.3 volts, and it's in the first timing slot. We put in a delay here so you can see the sequence. And we have a delay for each of the um, voltage rails, so that you can see them come up one after the other, as we showed in the video. Um, the second section down here is the voltage limits. So as I showed over volt 1, under volt, etc., these are the settings um, that activate those digital flags on the board. The next tab is the actual output. So this would be the outputs that are going to the LEDs, for example. So output one, we said, would activate um, the LED one when all four of the voltage rails were in the nominal range. So that's where this comes from. Um, then, for example, the other uh, three LEDs indicate undervolt one, nominal, and overvolt one. So we saw that in the video. Um, the next section, for example, the power off sequence, you can choose to reverse the power off sequence have it in the forward mode, the same as the power up, or do a simultaneous shutdown. So for a certain error flag, you may choose to shut down all of the voltages simultaneously. When you've completed entering your power sequence, you can actually look at the results on a graph. And this will show you um, that we're powering up rail one, two, three, then four, and then we're doing um, the opposite sequence all the way back down. So if we were to change this to be forward for the power off sequence, this would change our graph to look like this. So you can instantly see in the graphical configurator what you're actually going to program to the board later. This makes it very easy for us to do mixed signal power management um, using the Smart Fusion device, um, configuring it directly to this NPM daughter card, so you can experiment with the different settings and the capabilities of this design. When I make a simple change to the programming sequence, so for example, when I change the uh, power off from reverse to forward, I can then just write that into the memory of the device. I don't have to reprogram the whole device. So as you make changes to the power management configuration, these changes can be uploaded purely into the MVM of the device without changing any of the actual configuration of the device itself. So if we now jump back to the board for a minute, um, we can show the power up sequence the same way we did before. And this time the power down sequence will be the opposite direction. So one, two, three, then four. So with a very simple graphical change, we can change the parameters in this power sequencing module that we've built. Thank you for viewing the Smart Fusion NPM demonstration.